All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more LS PDFR. It's a nice, beautiful morning here. Wednesday morning, we're going to be using the undercover car again. I really enjoy, like, I like using this car. It uh, just really kind of helps with uh, criminals doing stupid things right in front of you. Citizens report criminal activity in Grapeseed. Units respond code 2. Roger that. So basically, we're going to continue our patrol out here in the county area. Um, we're still looking for uh, drug activity, uh, uh, possible meth labs, all that sort of stuff. Um, our last episode, we did have a suspected meth lab that turned out to be uh, clean. Uh, the main driver of the vehicle um, was taken into jail. She was uh, she had a warrant out for her arrest. The other two uh, suspects were released and uh, let go. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa! Zero five, Henry Union King two four eight no ten nine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and join in this uh, pursuit here. I just got a uh, this guy just ran into my cruiser, and we got a uh, sheriff's uh, local sheriff here trying to pull over this suburban here, and he is not stopping. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, and the sheriff just crashed into that vehicle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and assist him with this. Uh, All right, we're going to say no on available for calls. We're in the middle of a pursuit here. Oh, I hate when they do those brake checks like that. All right, I'm going to take over as primary here. Oh, my gosh. And then he pit maneuvers me. And then we all... Wow, way to go, guys. Way to freaking go. Wow. Way to go, guys. I love it when they pit maneuver you like that. Now, we are probably going to go ahead and lose that guy. All because of this. Yep. I just completely lost the, uh... Lost the suspect on that one because he pit maneuvered me off the cliff there. Wow. And I got my, uh tail light all busted up and everything so we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves back available for calls here <laughs> that was terrible oh my gosh look at my car terrible that's the only bad thing about calling an AI backup is sometimes <clears throat> I like to just not just try to just do it myself because the AI backup is so freaking stupid sometimes why are we driving so slow here Let's go ahead and run a plate check on this guy and figure out what the deal is. Uh, looks like we got a black Sultan going really, really slow on this road here. Bench warrant. Alright. And LSPD crashed on us. Awesome. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so I do apologize uh, for that there. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, find... Th Whoa! What are you doing? I'm gonna see if I can't <clears throat> find that black sultan that had the bench worn out. Unfortunately, right whenever I ran that plate, um, LSP decided it wanted to crash on me, so we got a feeling that uh, we're gonna end up losing this vehicle. Actually, this might be it right here. I do believe this is him right here. Let's go ahead and run another plate. Yep, this is the one here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this guy over. It may not even come back as wanted anymore because the the, the mod crashed, so it may not register it. We have a traffic alert in Mary, Sandy Shores, a high-ranking game member in 1099. Yeah, see, it came back as nothing. Um, but we actually just got called for a uh, very dangerous gang activity um, for a high-ranking gang officer. Not gang officer, but a gang member. He actually just turned right ahead of me here. So we're going to go ahead and initiate a uh, traffic stop on this guy. Attention, this is dispatch. Approach with caution. Alright, so let's go ahead and run a uh, plate check on this truck here. Wow, he's... Keeps pulling away from me. Right. 
right here is a perfect spot to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop. All right, go ahead and pull up into the parking lot here for me on the right-hand side. Edward King, 572, no, 1099. Perfect. All right, so, um, dispatch, go ahead and show us uh, on the traffic stop for the Black Bison with the uh, possible gang members here. All right, so it looks like we do have, uh, the vehicle is occupied by two people here. It looks like one of them is possibly wearing a, uh, a bandana there, so I don't know if that could be. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with them. All right, how's it going today, sir? Uh, reason I pulled you over is because uh, you were going a little fast back there, so um, I wanted to see if you had some any uh, some ID or anything on you. Hello. Oh snap! What, what's go Ow, he freaking ta- what's, what's going on? He tased me. He's over here- Hey, oh, he tased me again. He's tampering with my vehicle. <gasps> he caught my cop car on fire. Back up. Hey. Oh my gosh, and then he ran me over. And he caught my squad car on fire. Alright, so, um, he just caught my cop car on fire. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, borrow this more- Oh my gosh! Alright, let's get, um, local EMS unit down here. Attention all units, we've got an ambulance call in Sandy Shores. Alright, so, they just tased me and, uh, gasoline my car and disabled it, so I just had to go ahead and commandeer another police vehicle. Let's go ahead and get, um, air support in on this. All units. We have units requesting air support over Sandy Shores. Dispatch, we have the two gang members um, heading westbound on Marina Drive. They disabled my vehicle and they took off. They're driving a black bison. It looks like I did manage to uh, take out one of their vehicles or one of their tires whenever I was shooting at them. Let's go ahead and see if we can't. Okay, we just got another one of the tires out. Okay, stop. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. Okay, he just told me to go screw myself, so he's not going to stop. Unfortunately, I commandeered a police motorcycle, so that's not going to get me anywhere on trying to pitman over these guys. So let's get ourselves uh, some more states over here. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Alright, so I've managed to... T oh, come on. Oh, they didn't get him. So I managed to take out two of the back tires. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take out the front one. Okay, I got the front one. And he crashed, he's crashed. Oh my gosh. All right, this might be it right here. Out of the vehicle, out of the freaking vehicle right now, on the ground. Get on the freaking ground. Where's his buddy at? His buddy's taking off back over here. Get on the freaking ground right now or I will freaking shoot you. Get on the ground. Cannot believe you guys just freaking set my police cruiser on fire. That was my favorite undercover cop car, too. Emmett Williams. All right, Mr. Williams. Follow me. Come over here. Attention. This is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, dispatch. So we're code four. We do have the, uh, the two uh, gang members in custody. All right, get on your knees for me. I'm going to go ahead and pat you down, make sure you don't have anything on you that's going to poke or stick me or anything like that. All right, we found nothing of interest. So I'm assuming the uh, officers got the other guy over there. So in the meantime, um, what was this guy's name again? Uh, this guy's name was Emmett Williams. All right, let's go ahead and run this guy real quick and see if there's anything on this guy. I don't remember it. I think it's spelled wrong. Yeah, it's spelled wrong. Let's see, uh, it was... Uh, two T's is what it was. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, so he's got a valid license and no active warrants. Alright, get up. Come over here. So he got wedged up along this fence in this old, uh, this old RV right here. Unfortunately, 
Um, looks like the other guy was picked up by a prisoner transport already. Uh, get on your knees. I don't have a way of transporting this guy. I said get on your freaking knees. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call a PT for this guy. Backup required for a suspect placed under arrest in uh, Sandy Shore. Because uh, now I'm uh, operating a motorcycle, so I have no way of taking him. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and search this truck. So yeah, they pushed me out of my or pushed me off the truck, tased me a few times, and then. Um, lit my cop car on fire and uh, blew it up. That's crazy. I've never seen something like that before. Alright, let's go ahead and search this side. And we've got nothing of interest. Alright, let's get this freaking hunk of junk towed. Alright, so we've got a uh, tow truck en route to go ahead and pick this thing up here. I don't know how they're managing to uh, to get that thing out, but that's that's their job. So, But at any rate, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up and conclude this episode. That was, um, that was definitely very interesting. I have never had a situation like that where um, I do a pullover on uh, uh, high-ranking gang members. Okay. <laughs> but at any rate, yeah, I've never had a high-ranking uh, gang official like that knock me over, tase me, and then ignite my car like that. That's definitely something very new for the book. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. That one was definitely one for the book. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time for the next episode of LSPDFR.